Starting our day with some unfortunate news, veteran Congress leader and former Union Minister Murli Deora is no more. He passed away early this morning in Mumbai. He was 77 years old. Murli Deora was uh, the Minister for Petroleum and Natural Gas in the previous UPA government in 2006. His body will be brought to the Maharashtra State Congress office at noon today. The party workers will be paying their last respects. His cremation will take place at 4 p.m. Parliament is likely to be adjourned today after paying homage to Deora, who was a sitting Rajya Sabha MP from Mumbai. Let's get a word from uh, our executive editor Javed Ansari who's with us on the phone line. Javed Ansari, we believe that Murli Deora passed away after a long illness. Yes, he was unwell uh, for, 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 for over a year now. He hasn't been keeping good health. He was hospitalized a couple of days ago. His health has been a matter of great concern. Murli Deora was very integral, extremely close to the Congress leadership. He was very close to Rajiv Gandhi and then worked closely with Mrs. Sonia Gandhi as well. Uh, because of his illness, he had to demit office. Uh, and he, he, he had to demit office, and but but continued attending Parliament. I remember meeting him uh, a couple of months ago. But you know, he 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 had become uh, extremely phased out. Couldn't remember things. Couldn't uh, you know speak for long. But be that as it, he was uh, very integral to the Congress Party and. Uh, and, and, you know, his, his death will be a loss to, to Congress, especially in Mumbai. Absolutely. Yeah. And Sari, stay on with us. We're also being joined by our consulting editor, Rajdeep Sardesai, who's with us on the phone line. Rajdeep, a big loss for the Congress party. Yes. Uh, you know, Murli Deora was the towering figure of Mumbai politics for a very long time. He was a five-time MP. He had been the Mumbai Congress chief for well over a decade, in fact, almost two decades. But in the last decade, uh, immediately, Murli Deora had passed on the mantle to his son, Milind Deora, after his ill health. And frankly, his role in Mumbai politics had greatly diminished. What he did have, though, is this great ability, uh, when he was at his peak, to have friends across parties, to network with political parties and individuals. And that was very useful to the Congress, particularly in the coalition era. Uh, Murli Deora, in that sense, was... Uh, almost a product of that era where it was necessary to have friends in all parties. He was uh, a traditional politician in that sense. He had no enemies uh, in politics. And uh, one of his great skills, uh, which we saw during the 1985 Mumbai centenary session, was his ability to raise funds, to organize big events. And many of those skills today are lacking in the Congress. This was a Congress of the... And he came up in that era uh, of the 80s. Uh, as someone close to Rajiv Gandhi. So he really belonged to another era, and I think he felt uncomfortable to some extent in today's Congress. He was much more comfortable with the old-style congressman, and for a party which uh, is now struggling, and even in Mumbai, to make, an, uh, to make uh, its presence felt, uh, Murli Devra's genial presence will be missed. Absolutely, and Rajdeep, uh, apart from being... A politician who had friends across party line, he was able to push through key reforms in the UPA government. He was also an industrialist of much stature. I, I, I would say he was, uh, he was uh, a politician uh, before he was an industrialist. Uh, see me. He came from a family which was a business family. Uh, as a result, he had friends in, uh, in, in corporate India. He also, obviously, uh, through his political career, built political, uh, a political connect. So he represented, as many Mumbai politicians do, the close nexus between politics and business. And uh, it also drew him into criticism, particularly when he was petroleum minister. There were accusations of conflict of interest and of benefiting uh, individuals and, and, and corporate groups. Uh, but what he did have always right through was his ability to... Uh, uh, as I said, to reach out to people. And one more significant thing, long before India discovered the United States, Murli Deora was perhaps the first Indian politician of that period who would openly bat for America. Uh, in the 1980s, uh, this was before the fall of the Berlin Wall, uh, where very few Indian politicians openly were batting for America. Murli was always someone who batted for corporate interests and for America well before it became fashionable to do so. So I think, and, and he always, I, what struck out for me is that in the Khadi Kurta generation, of poli where politicians like to wear Khadi Kurta in public, Murli liked to dress up in his bush shirt and trousers. So in that sense, he was not a hypocrite. He had friends in, in, in the business world. He never hid those friendships. 
Uh, he had friends on the other side of the political divide. He never hid those friendships. It was his strength and also to his critics, his big weakness. Uh, so he was one of the first politicians who openly batted for corporates and for for, for America and did, uh, you know, did it unabashedly. It's much later that the rest of India almost followed what, or the rest of the political class followed what Muli used to do in the 1980s. Absolutely. Ajib Seon with us. We're also being joined by uh, Congress leader Amin Patel, who's with us uh, on the phone line. In fact, getting a reaction from him. Let's listen in. हाँ सुबह तीन बजकर पच्चीस मिनट को हमारे नेता श्री मुरली जोड़ा जी का निधन हो गया अठहत्तर साल उनकी उम्र थी और जब उनका निधन हुआ तो उनके दोनों बेटे अंकुल देवरा और मिलिंद देवरा उनकी धर्मपत्नी उनके साथ में थे ये कभी मोदी और दिल्ली से अचानक मुंबई में क्या वजह रही कोई कुछ कुछ दिन पहले दिल्ली में थे मुंबई आए उनका स्वास्थ्य थोड़ा सा ठीक नहीं था तो कुछ दिन तक हॉस्पिटल में थे तीन रोज से घर पर थे और आज उनका सुबह निधन हो गया अठहत्तर साल उनकी उम्र थी और कुछ इन्फेक्शन उनको होने की वजह से ध्यान हो गया पहला चुनाव उन्होंने मुंबई महानगर पालिका में उन्नीस में लड़ा था उनके बाद में अठहत्तर में मुंबई के महापौर थे बाद में वो एम थे उसके बाद में उन्होंने पांच बार दक्षिण मुंबई का प्रतिनिधित्व जो है वो लोकसभा में किया था उसके बाद में तीन टर्म से वो राज्यसभा के मेंबर थे देश के यूनियन मिनिस्टर थे वो और इसके अलावा मुरली भाई एक बहुत बड़े समाज सेवक थे मुरली भाई जो है उनकी जो धड़कन जो है वो मुंबई और ये देश था मुरली भाई का दिल के अंदर हर वक्त यही बात रहती थी कि किस तरह से मैं लोगों के आंसू पहुँचूँ किस तरह से मैं ज़रूरतमंद लोगों के काम आ सकूँ जो स्कीम जो कंप्यूटर एजुकेशन जो पहली बार उन्होंने भवन इंस्टीट्यूट में जो शुरू किया था एक ऐसा काम था जो पूरे देश के अंदर वो कंप्यूटर सेंटर लगाए गए और जो हर एक बच्चा वहाँ से नॉलेज हासिल करके कंप्यूटर सीख करके अपने रोजगार से जुड़ता था उनका मकसद ही रहता था कि किस तरह से नौजवान लोगों को रोजगार से जोड़ा जाए पूरी जिंदगी उन्होंने जो है अपनी लोगों के नाम कर दी थी और राजनीति के अंदर भी उन्होंने वो ऐसे बड़े काम किए जो इस देश के नाम जो है इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे बहुत ऊंचा किया इंटरनेशनल उनके कनेक्शन बहुत अच्छे थे बहुत लोग उनको जानते मानते थे मुरली भाई के साथ आ, काम करने का हमको भी सौभाग्य सो, प्राप्त हुआ पच्चीस साल तक हम उनके साथ में लगे उनकी एक ही सीख हर एक व्यक्ति को रहती थी कि अगर आप राजनीति में हैं तो आपका काम है कि लोगों के आंसू पहुँचो जरूरतमंद के लोगों के काम आओ और ये बात हम जिंदगी भर याद रखेंगे रिएक्शंस बिगिनिंग टू कम इन अर्ली दिस मॉर्निंग फॉर्मर यूनियन मिनिस्टर एंड सीनियर कांग्रेस लीडर मुरली देवरा पास अवे इन मुंबई आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग इलनेस आरसीप साधित साइज विदास ऑन द फोन लाइन राजदीप मुरली देवरा इज आल्सो समबडी हु हैड वेरी क्लोज टाइज विद द कांग्रेस हाई कमांड दैट्स राइट एज आई सेड ही रियली कट हिज टीथ बाय हिज प्रॉक्सिमिटी टू द गांधी फैमिली पर्टिकुलरली राजीव गांधी एट द 1985 कांग्रेस सेंटेनरी सेशन in mumbai was the first time that murli devra really made his presence felt on the national scene he organized that entire session and then became very close to rajiv and after that to sonia gandhi and he was a real congress loyalist even when sharad pawar broke away from the congress uh, in maharashtra murli devra stayed loyal to sonia gandhi and uh, and the gandhi family and that always benefited him in uh, in in his political career at no stage did murli devra ever uh, de openly dissent Uh, with the uh, with the gandhi family he was in that sense the old style congress loyalist and what what i do remember and i just heard that being said is that he was also someone who uh, had cut his teeth in municipal politics he became mayor of mumbai before he became and uh, a member of parliament so he was very much a local man of mumbai he understood mumbai and south mumbai politics very well uh, the criticism was that he never really took on the shiv sena in the manner that he should have but on the other hand his supporters uh, pointed out that mr devra was the kind of politician who was as i said earlier well suited to the coalition era where you needed friends uh, on the other side so whenever even the gandhi family needed to reach out to some politician from the other side murli devra was often you uh, the person who would who would help out in that exercise so i think he was a very valuable member for the congress party in the 90s in uh, 1980s and 1990s Uh, which was in a in 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 a true sense, particularly the 90s, a coalition era, 
uh, and uh, he had a ready smile. Uh, you know, I, I don't think, as I said, I don't think Murli Dora had a single enemy in the world. Everybody was uh, his friend. And I think that was his, uh, his, his big strength, which is why uh, very few people, even when, he was, uh, when there was controversy swirling around him, no one would really gun for uh, Murli Dora because uh, he had already uh, reached out to people even on the other side of the political divide. Azeep, uh, thanks so much for uh, speaking to us and sharing stories about uh, Murli Dora. Huge loss for the Congress Party. Former Union Minister and Senior Congress Leader Murli Dora at the age of 77 passed away this morning. He was a sitting uh, member of uh, the Rajya Sabha. Close friends and family telling us that uh, he passed away at about uh, 3.45 this morning. He had been battling a long illness.